Holly, I mean, it, it seems like they're just kind of, you know, uh, laying the foundation, kind of painting a picture of what happened that day. But um, what do you think? Is there anything in particular that actually advances the state's argument in what you just heard there? I do. I watched this unfold live yesterday afternoon when I was on court TV, and I was struck by the fact that what the prosecution is doing effectively, I think, is laying the scene for that this is a culinary institute. This is not a street corner on a crime-riddled neighborhood. It is highly unusual for anybody to turn up dead. There was so much confusion in the first few moments of finding Dan Brophy's body that even the EMS team who was responding had no idea he had been shot. And why is that? Because it is highly unlikely for anybody in the Culinary Institute at any moment to be found dead, homeless encampment nearby or not. So I think it actually does move the ball forward for the prosecution because it shows that the person who murdered Dan Brophy had to have planned it, entered it. This was not some random act of violence.